I have not been notified. So my biggest concern is communication for families and parents. I went to school today. You know what I mean? I had laundry in my hand. I had, I'm concerned about the kids that have no voices here. State health officials are working to stem a deadly outbreak of the adenovirus at the Wanakue Center for Health and Rehabilitation in Haskell, New Jersey. The center was banned from accepting new patients until this virus is contained. Now, I want to make it clear that adenovirus poses no immediate threat to the public at large. Symptoms and how the adenovirus spreads is similar to that of a common cold. Patients can also have a sore throat, diarrhea, fever, and more, lasting 10 days. People with weakened immune systems are most at risk of getting seriously sick or dying from this virus. When or how fast it spread at Wanakue is unclear. The State Department of Health was first notified by Wanakue on October 9th, and the center sent warning letters to patients' families on October 19th. Wanakue Center has cooperated with this ongoing investigation. A state team did find lapses in hand washing at the facility. And a health inspection by the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid also recently gave the center a below average ranking. The nurses union representing 70 caretakers at this facility responded today saying, quote, nurses have worked diligently to contain the spread of the disease under difficult circumstances. Nurses have reported a shortage of nursing staff, which may lead to poor infection control practices. Additionally, the unionized staff have urged administration to provide adequate supplies to protect patients. Nobody from the facility made themselves available today to take questions. Parents say they are having trouble getting information. The governor called that unacceptable. Live in Haskell, I'm Christy Duffy, PIX11 News. All right.